What's good, future millionaires? We back with another banger. I'm December DeMarco, Fortune 500 marketer, here to share my insights on the market with y'all to hopefully help y'all become better informed investors. Salute to y'all for pulling up on the channel. Make sure you hit that thumbs up, like button for the YouTube algorithm, and do not forget to subscribe. So we are back with another video. I skipped yesterday. You know, I just had some family come into town here to Vegas. You know, my granny and great granny pulled up on me to uh, spend, you know, the holiday with me. So, uh... You know, you got to spend that family time, but we back with it nonetheless. You know, uh, I seen this article, y'all, and I was just laughing for uh, like like two, three minutes off of seeing this because this is how they try to play y'all. So I want y'all to pay attention to this headline and then connect the dots. I'm going to just read the headline and then I want y'all to connect the dots and drop in the comment section and tell me what you think this really means. So Shiba Inu is dying. Whales are moving in to help cure bearish trends. That was hilarious, y'all. So you got to be aware that these news sources produce these uh, headlines in a certain way, you know, to, to uh, create a certain emotion, to give a certain thought to the average investor. Now, I want y'all to drop in the comment section, you know, uh, right now and tell me, you know, uh, you know, what do you think that really means on the back end? So I'm going to give you all a second for that. Again, appreciate everybody for rocking with me. Check the links in the description section. We got some free resources down there. Stocks, crypto, everything you need to get started. But to me, this is, uh, you know, the okie doke, basically. They're saying Shiba Inu is dying. Look how they threw that exclamation mark uh, at the end right there. They wanted to exclamate the fact of shiba inu is dying run be scared they're trying to pump fear into the average investor who doesn't understand who might just google shiba inu see this news article and you know uh you know become a little fearful and then saying whales are moving in to help cure bearish trends yeah right whales are stepping in because they know what's up now we don't know when shibirium is going to be released we were told before the third quarter uh, before the end of the third quarter, that was September 30th. Obviously, we're well beyond that point. Uh, I guess we would have it, if not uh, at the end of September 30th. I said I thought they would roll it out by the end of October. We didn't see that happen. So now my guess is before the end of the year. And if not uh, before the end of the year, then I just have no clue when they'll be releasing it. But I know that they will try to surprise everyone. This is what's going to happen. The price is being this low. They're running the prices down, and I'm not just saying, you know, uh, that's the only reason the price is down because the powers that be want the prices to be down. Also, we got to take the FTX situation into account, but these whales are stepping in right now buying Shiba Inu for the low because they know what's about to happen. They know when Shibirium gets released that the price is going to run. Y'all, when they release Shibirium, it's going to happen quickly. Now, this is the thing. You'll start to see the price run. Don't doubt it. Now, of course, there could be. This is not financial advice. Let me pause. Let me pump the brakes real quick. This is not financial advice. More like financial education, entertainment, whatever you want to call it. But it's not financial advice. Do what's ever best for you. Do your own due diligence. Do your own research. I got to say that, y'all. But we seen last time Shiba Inu broke out above these levels in, uh, you know, uh, last year, October. It only took three days from Sh for Shiba Inu to break from this level to get to that 3,000 level, y'all. So it's going to, and, and that's before it even, you know, continued to go even higher than that. It's going to happen very, very quickly. These whales are getting in position. They're buying up millions and millions of dollars worth of Shiba Inu in preparation of that. So uh, let's see. Shiba Inu is dying and investors are bracing themselves for a much bigger financial loss. Granted. We do have a very tricky situation on the table right now with this FTX collapse. This is something, you know, uh, that is a very negative catalyst for cryptocurrency, which will have an effect on the markets. But nonetheless, I still think we will see a Shiba Inu run. Now, this can be one of those runs where it runs and we see people take profits and that pushes the price back down. So don't expect a run straight back to all time highs. It's going to be a journey still to fight through this. And the crypto space is in a rough spot right now. So keep that in mind. 
but the most viewed cryptocurrency of 2021 is falling on hard times once again but not only shiba inu so don't think it's just Shiba. the rest of the crypto market even the stock market is having hard times right now even tesla is having hard times right now so earlier Shiba Inu's value was closely determined by its usability. However, times have changed now as Elon's influence over the meme coin has intensified over time. Quite recently, Shiba Inu rose for a brief period of time with Dogecoin when Musk closed his much controversial Twitter deal. But the token fell again as a result of the FTX contagion. It is quite evident that Shiba Inu's value is constantly fluctuating and is highly dependent on external factors. Even though, she, even though the Shiba community is growing, it is needless to mention that Shiba Inu is dying. Shiba Inu is not dying, y'all. They just they are using that verbiage, you know, to uh, you know, instill that fear. The media causes fear. They pump out articles that sound very harsh or bearish, and then guess what they do on the back end? They're buying the coins themselves. Think about it. Just how we seen SBF Sam Bankman Free uh, with FTX, how he used his company to buy tokens of companies or of cryptocurrencies that they plan to list you know so these exchanges these uh these uh you know con these these individuals these corporate entities they will work against us don't think they're just on our team don't think this is just an innocent news site they're playing it as well they're in the game also they have a dog in the fight keep that in mind so uh you know, and it's super wild to even think, you know, the, the CEO of FTX was using his customers' funds to borrow money to his other company and use it to trade, but not only just trade and make risky investments, but trade against the people who were holding on his exchange, y'all. And it goes so much deeper. The story is still unfolding every day. I hear something new and it's just, it's it just gets wilder and wilder. Shows us why we can't trust these centralized exchanges, corporate entities, because they will be, you know, telling us one thing and doing something else at the same time. This is why we break all this down. You know, we pulling everything, you know, uh, down. We're talking about, you know, exactly what's going on here. So that way we all are better informed investors. So let's keep going with this. Even though uh, or the ongoing circumstances are quite ironic, given that a few months ago, experts were predicting that either Shiba Inu or Dogecoin will overthrow Bitcoin's dominance over the market. Never, never, and that was something I remember. The big, uh, you know, uh, everybody was talking about Bitcoin dominance, and it's crazy because things were looking up. Altcoins did appear to, you know, be at a point where they were going to pivot and really start outperforming uh, Bitcoin. But we had something that. You know, I could say uh, there were a few people who suspected it. You know, I didn't expect it with FTX. But if you remember months ago, I started to tell y'all when uh, we uh, were doing withdrawals and it took a moment to have to do it. You know, it's like, why should it have to take so long? If y'all already have these coins inside of my account, it should be able to be, you know, uh, moved over quickly. And then one of my students reached out to me and told me, you know, uh, Robin Hood openly admitted to him that they had to go buy some of his Dogecoin from the market when he wanted to uh, withdraw it to his co walk So, you know, that was like kind of eye opener right there. That's when I first alerted y'all on the channel and said, hey, y'all, they could be just showing us numbers on our screen. So, you know, uh, you might want to have, you know, that ledger. But uh, now we seen with this FTX collapse that that's exactly what's going on. So this is, you know, really wild, y'all. But uh, nevertheless, Sheep's value is also dependent on the performance of the flagship token. Market sentiments over Shiba Inu are only reduced to the influence of other cryptocurrencies and external factors on a meme coin. So basically meaning those outside catalysts, if it's a negative catalyst, positive catalyst, that's going to weigh on Sheep heavily. Uh, the minor and sudden spikes in the Shiba Inu price resemble a lot of Bitcoin's past performance. This is one of many reasons why investors and market analysts are comparing the meme coin with Bitcoin and have concluded that Shiba Inu is dying just like BTC. Crazy, y'all. And I guarantee you this, this who's ever, uh, you know, behind this, you know, uh, in the back end are buying Shiba Inu and BTC, y'all. Don't fall for the buy high, sell low uh, thing. Most people are afraid to buy when the prices are lot, uh, low because they're afraid that, you know, it's going to drop lower. But what they wait to do is see the prices running up and then they panic and FOMO into it. They have the fear of missing out and they jump in and buy it when the prices is high. Then when a, once everybody starts taking profit, you know, and the a price starts to correct and pull back, you know, they start to lose value on their holding. Then they want to sell. Don't fall for that, y'all.
So she will step in to save the crypto from oblivion. Let's get, let's see this real quick. Just a few days ago, analysts predicted that Shiba Inu's price was set to reach a reach new yearly lows and will record the worst performance in history of cryptocurrencies. After Terra's and that's crazy, it would not record the worst performance in history of cryptocurrency. That is absolutely crazy to say. Absolutely crazy. You know how many other janky cryptocurrencies there are out there that you know perform terribly so this shows us you know what type of time they are on you know how you know how they what bias they are holding and it's not just a bias because you know they don't really like shiba inu it could be a bias because they want to buy shiba inu for the low by tricking all of y'all out of y'all positions but uh after Terra's massive debatable Debatable, my bad. Earlier this year, FTX was the next biggest blow. FTX's fall happened at a time when the meme coins were rallying again to generate profits. Meanwhile, as the crypto assets ecosystem is still trembling, crypto broker Genesis announced halts and repayments and withdrawals. These factors have massively interrupted Shiba Inu's growth. So this is something we got to talk about too, y'all. I don't mean to stress this video too long, but this is very important. So Genesis is basically like an investment banking company that the crypto exchanges use. So the Genesis had to basically halt their loan process and the process, I believe, of customers, you know, uh, collecting basically, uh, you know, whatever was owned to them, what they loaned out. They basically said, hold on, we got to put a pause on everything right now. I believe they were caught in FTX's uh, collapse as well. This is something we have to pay attention to. We talked about this about a week ago, maybe two weeks ago. We have to pay attention to all the companies that were exposed to FTX and how it could likely affect, you know, the rest of the crypto space because there could be a domino effect. You know, if this, you know, is which is already bigger than we expected, is going to have an effect, a negative effect on crypto. We can't change that. There's nothing we can do about it. We don't have the inside information to uh, FTX's financial records and things like that. Not even the government can get those things right now. So, you know, uh, what could we do? You know, uh, so we just basically have to roll with the punches. So just be prepared, you know. Don't over leverage yourself. Make sure you got savings. Make sure you got a side hustle. I always tell you all that you want to keep some type of income coming in outside of your, you know, uh, regular income. You want to make as much as you can. So that way you can save as well as or build that savings fund as well as invest in these cheap prices that we haven't seen in a while. So. Uh, it's quite safe to say the past week has been quite harsh to the crypto bearish trends and shiba inu continued to intensify according to reports the meme coin demonstrated a seven to eight percent loss even though the token was massively accumulated by crypto whales these circumstances can only be attributed to large bearish market sentiments the percentage see that's people right there that bought high now they want to sell low the percentage of shiba inu holders that have acquired the token has risen over 50 percent within a year demonstrating a bullish sentiment among whales However, investors have a hard time believing in its prospects. Furthermore, the current downtrends and market sentiments are barring crypto traders from massively indulging in crypto investing. In fact, as the mainstream economic and financial downturns rise, financial and investment leaders are prohibiting investors from investing in riskier assets like cryptocurrency. So let's see what they say about this. Is Shiba Inu redeemable? As per report, Shiba Inu has demonstrated a 92% jump in its trading volumes despite the recent market drops. Critics say higher volatility often leads to high trading volumes. Investors are in hope of garnering massive profits and are avoiding any chances of missing out on them. At least we can say that Shiba's rising volume caused by investors accumulating on its current lows will account for something in the months to come. She wells are making larger moves on the market as the number of large transactions have dramatically increased over the past couple of weeks. We can only hope that investors ignore how Shiba Inu is dying and focus on redeeming the crypto to establish a strong future for the Shiba community. And if not, long-term Shiba Inu investors should start reserving their funds and brace for a major impact. So, uh, so in the end, they added a little, you know, a little positivity on there because, you know, they don't want people to never come back. They want to buy the dip and, you know, hope of people come back after you know they see the prices you know stabilizing and rising that's what you know uh would be ideal for these individuals but i'm just here to let y'all know how it usually goes so let's take a look at uh the overall market right now we got the market back over an 800 billion dollar market cap remember the last few days we've been trading at that under that uh 800 billion dollar market cap level bitcoin at sixteen thousand one hundred and ten dollars uh ethereum at one thousand one hundred and twenty one right now 
We got BNB at two hundred sixty three dollars, XRP at thirty seven cent, Cardano at thirty one cent. We got Doge at seven cent right now, Matic at eight cent right or eighty four cent, uh, Dot five dollars twenty four cent. We got Litecoin just skipped cheap. Let's go, sheesh. Okay, Litecoin. Okay, Litecoin. I see you, but this has happened because Litecoin is up sixteen percent in a week. And Shiba Inu is down 8% in a week. So once we bounce back, we'll be right back above uh, Litecoin. I am holding some Litecoin. I've been holding that for a, a while. But, uh, you know, just interesting to see how these uh, top 15, you know, 20 spaces change. But I wanted to update y'all on, on that and have y'all, you know, uh, just not too panicked you know on what's playing out right now yes this is bad for crypto understand what's at stake you know i will hold my crypto in a cold wallet i would understand you know uh the risk be prepared to hold for a prolonged period of time also i would learn how to day trade if you don't that way you can take advantage of the volatility in the market you can buy on the low days sell on the high days this is why i recommend having multiple wallets so you don't have to affect your original positions and you can still have some fun and take some, you know, some bread off the table. But that's all we got for this video. If y'all already haven't hit that like button, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at December DeMarco, on Twitter at December DeMarco. If you're interested in learning more about decentralized finance, I have a class coming up this Friday. You can email me to get a ticket, December DeMarco at gmail.com. Trust me, if you don't understand decentralized finance, the importance of it, how to stay safe in a space, or you just want to learn more about it then you definitely want to invest in a ticket of this class. So uh, again, that's December DeMarco at gmail.com. Appreciate y'all for pulling up and we are.